Ford. Hi there, Hollywood Times viewers. Today, we have the founder of Balanced Life and creator of Signature Balanced Life Planner. And her name is Karen Ray, right? Yes. Thank Hi, you Karen, how you doing? Good, good. Thank you for having me. Karen and I have been trying for several weeks to get together to do this interview, and there's been a few things, hiccups on my side, but here we are today, right be a few days before Thanksgiving, to talk about your, uh, your business. So yes. let's start out. We're talking about um, the Balanced Life Planner. Yes, yes, and what an ideal time to be talking about it as it is Thanksgiving vacation. So I'm sitting in my home office, and I have my 10- and 13-year-old daughters right outside my window. So it is all about having balance. And uh, that's what this is all about, is helping each of us to navigate our days and focus upon those things that matter the most. But of course, we have responsibilities that uh, must be taken care of as well, such as business and an interview. <laughs> So do you have, is my understanding you have two separate planners? Well, we have the Signature Balance Life Planner. It is a weekly uh, planner. Mm -hmm. And the days make up the weeks that make up the months that make up the years that make up our life. So it is certainly a life planner as well. And we have four different cover options, but it is one planner. Okay. Got it. Got it. And then I read where you have um, explained to us the five F's you've developed for the planner. Yes. So speaking of the five F's, I have talked to my daughters for years about the five F's and how important it is to have balance. So those five F's are faith, family, finances, fitness, and friendships. So those five F's, as I have called them, are really the five fundamental areas of our lives. So this weekly planner, the Signature Balance Life Planner, uh, really uh, makes the user to become more mindful of these specific areas. Because again, we can pick up a planner and plan our days and weeks and months and lives, but we may leave out one of those areas. Um, I can use my own life as an example. I would get up in the morning, take care of my girls, get them to school, um, go to work to provide for my family. And then I was right back at it, picking my girls up from school or taking them to sport practice. So really, if we look at those um, areas, I was focused upon family and finances. And when it comes to to the other areas, faith, uh, fitness, and friendships, my life was out of balance. So I want uh, individuals to know that we may spend the majority of our times taking care time taking care of our families or um, working to make a living, but we can still have balance in our lives, really for as little as five to ten minutes a day. And what I mean by that is now that. I am more mindful of these five areas, which I should go back and say, didn't I just say I had talked to my girls about these five areas their entire lives, how important it is to have balance in our lives, but yet my life was out of balance. So I wanted to go from just talking about it to actually uh, setting a good example uh, for them. So the planner um, helps me to do that and helps others as well. Uh, but going back to as little as five or 10 minutes a day, I now make sure that when I wake up in the morning, I take just a couple of minutes to read a daily devotional. And then when it comes to fitness, I do something. Even if I can't get to the gym for an hour that day, if I just that day say, I'm going to drink more water and eat less fried foods, or I'm going to, uh, during the work day when I take a break, I'm going to, to walk during that 10 minute break. So just do something in that area. And then when it comes to friendships, I will 
uh, send a text to a friend and just let them know that I'm thinking of them. So by doing just a little bit each day, it does bring more balance into our lives. Well, I, I, you know, we're all so busy. We just, as you say, we have, we go about uh, our business and COVID has changed uh, all of us. I'm assuming you as well, because your kids are homeschooled now or are they, are they able to go to school or are they homeschooled right now? Um, my girls are able to go to school. But speaking of COVID, this came about while we were in quarantine. And one evening, I couldn't sleep. And I was laying there thinking. And what I thought was um, how much of a blessing the slowdown had been for our family. And I thought... You know, when life returns to normal, I don't want normal looking anything like what normal looked like before. I want to regain control of my life, get back the time that each of us deserve, and focus upon those things that matter the most. So I got up and I sat down at my desk and I wrote a plan regarding how I intended to, to do that. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt, it was divine inspiration uh, that was up on me that evening because when I finished writing that plan of how I was going to bring balance into my life and regain control of my life and focus upon those things that matter the most, I thought, wow, I really need this. And then I thought, Others need this as well. And that is how this all began. Wow. I noticed before this started, we talked about a, a, a binder because right now it's a pre-order for your uh, the planner at this point. Yes, it is. And uh, we are taking pre-orders through uh, mid-December. And then our uh, first production run will be in in January, just in time for the new year. So I do want to say the pre-orders that we're taking today will come along with a digital copy of the planner. Nice. So individuals can finish 2020 off with a balanced life approach and start 2021 off again with a balanced life approach. And then that physical copy will be in their hands uh, right in the new year. Um, I have it printed off though and in a three ring binder. And I, of course, am already um, using it. I can flip it to um, give you a quick view of the daily action plan. So you wow. can see my writing, you know, in there. So, um, you know, we say that this is more than just a planner or a place to write our weekly to do's. Um, but it is just that as well. But when we look at um, our weekly focus, mm -hmm. um, then we have a place for our weekly to-dos. Sorry that it's hard to see, but no, okay. there's a place for faith, family, finances, fitness, friendships, and then miscellaneous. So like with family, I don't schedule a time to call my dad, so to speak, but I'm aware of the fact that, you know, I haven't talked to dad for a while. And if I'm not careful, the days are going to get away from me. The week's going to get away from me. And I will have not spoken to him, even though I've thought about him time and time again. So I've made a point for family. Take a moment and call my dad this week. So I've written it down here. And then um, for faith, I just wrote down, you know, do a daily devotional, um, attend church. And then um, there's a local nonprofit that I'm affiliated with, um, Positive Impact Worldwide. And I, this is actually for this week, um, wrote down, serve through that organization, um, which just gave out over 750 turkeys. Um, to families. So, um, so it really just, again, yes, we're going to plan our days, but it's going to make us more mindful of the five fundamental areas of our lives, which will bring balance into our lives. Oh my goodness. That's an amazing thing. 
Did you, during all this, have you had, do um, you have inspiration on someone who's inspired you to want to do this through your life? I have had um, a lot of, <laughs> I've had my grandmother and my mother are both uh, very inspirational um, individuals. And, you know, even my dad, I, I was encouraged throughout my childhood and uh, told that, Karen, whatever you set your mind to, you can do. So I'm thankful for that type of um, upbringing. Uh, but when it came to putting together um, the Balanced Life Planner, um, there wasn't a plan in place for me to, to do this. It was truly that night uh, while in quarantine that I sat down at my desk and was inspired to write this plan um, that in turn has become a business. So what, what else do you, does your business offer? For our viewers. Um, I, I do want to mention that um, our mission is to help individuals regain control of their lives and reach their full potential. So speaking of inspiration, uh, we do uh, share a lot of inspiration with our uh, community, within our community. But we are offering life planning and organizational products. So um, our signature product is the Balanced Life Planner. And we also have the inspirational uh, Balanced Life Journal. And we have a line of uh, designer notebooks that have an inspirational um, theme. Uh, but speaking of the planner and the journal and even the notebooks, um, I had a neighbor to ask me uh, for some tips on <laughs> bringing balance into their lives. And I uh, very informally just in that moment thought about what I do to, to help myself because um, I just wanted to obviously always share from the heart. But in that moment, again, it wasn't, oh, well, let me look at what I've written in a blog or, <laughs> you know, it was just, what do I do? Well, one of the, the first things that I do is I write some things down because I believe that we're all so busy and we have this on our minds or that on our mind. And, and it helps even in a notebook, a journal, or in the planner to just put some things down on paper and say, okay, this is what my life looks like. Here are my responsibilities. Um, here's what I want to accomplish. And then we can, we can kind of get a grip on our lives and then organize our, our thoughts in one place. And then what I have found after doing that, when I take a look, I'm like, there's no way I can do all of this my self. I, <laughs> I have a lot of responsibilities as we all do. So it, it lead, it leads or led in that moment to me telling her the next thing that I have learned to start doing is to ask people for help. And it has started really during while in quarantine, uh, me asking for my 10 and 13 year old daughter's uh, for help. I didn't realize how much I was doing for them that they are, you know, very capable of doing for themselves, whether it be um, getting their breakfast in the morning. Uh, they're able to do that themselves or putting away their laundry or now that we're in school, preparing their uh, lunch for the day. And so um, I've also started reaching out to help uh, from friends and neighbors and, and family. So I encourage people to, um, to do that. And then I have some, some more tips, but uh, when it comes to our products and the start of getting a grip, um, for me, it starts with writing th some things down. Yeah, because that was kind of one of my questions is, you know, tips that you had for mothers with with daughters your age, you know, especially during this quarantine, it's got to be hard because you know, all of our lives have been changed. And so how have you handled that with your daughters during this? Um, our lives have certainly been changed. And 
what I have learned during this time is so much, but is going back to, to needing help is um, our jobs as mothers, we are to, to teach our children really to become independent of us. So I found during quarantine, I would be in my home office and my 10 year old would uh, send me a text or even call me. My phone's sitting right here. That's why I'm looking over there. And, and you know, I would be in the middle of doing something. I may answer the phone and I, she had FaceTime me. Yes, Sophia, what's up? Could you get me some water? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Now, my daughter's not lazy. Don't take it that way. I'm just using this as an example. And I'm like, absolutely not. You are capable of getting yourself some water. And so I, I know that sounds so silly, but then it made me recognize, you know, mama, what are we having for breakfast? Well, I have started doing um, meal planning where on Sunday I'll take an inventory of what we have and then I will make a meal plan for the week or at least write down here are the breakfast options we have, here are the lunch options we have. And if we need to fill in, then that makes up my grocery list. But now it's like, go look at the list of the breakfast options that we have. We can have oatmeal, we can have uh, eggs, we can have, <laughs> we can have a bar, you, you know, there. And at 10 and 13 years old, they're capable of grabbing their own bar, fixing some cereal, um, getting themselves some fruit. So uh, I still do a lot for them. But at the same time, uh, because they were here all the time and it just, I needed help. So um, it's been good for them. It's, it's, uh, I was teaching them to be responsible young ladies prior, but they've, uh, they've learned to, to do more, to do more. Well, thank you for that. That it's not easy. <laughs> not yes, easy. yes. And and one more thing with with um, uh, these tips, so to speak, and that is carving out some me time. That is so very important. Now, I'm a morning person, so I carve out my me time in the morning, and it sets the tone for the day. So if my girls are going to start stirring at 6 a.m., mm -hmm. uh, especially on a school day or 6.15, then I'm going to get up at 5.45. Just 15 minutes earlier makes a world of difference because it's quiet and it's not mama this, mama that, it's my time. And so I have a cup of coffee and that's when I've started reading that just couple of minute devotional. And so I encourage uh, moms or, or dads to, to carve out that me time. It, it's wonderful. And I can use an example. My sister told me years ago, when her children were very young, how she loved her me time in the morning. And she said, if she didn't have that me time, which some of you out there are going to relate to this, she said it felt like gun smoke, where it's like, because maybe her daughter would wake her up instead of her waking her daughter up. And when that happened, it was, it was, it, it was all over from there. So um, carve out some me time. And then I want to share another tip, and, and that is to learn to let go of some things. Um, my personality is everything needs to be done. And I have had to learn to let go of some things. And um, I'll use an example the other Sunday. I had plenty of uh, laundry to at least put away. And um, my daughter, uh, the 13 year old had a birthday party to go to. So I had my 10 year old at home. And I could have said, you know what, Sophia, I want to be prepared for the week and I want these things done. And so I could have spent that afternoon with her over here, maybe on her tablet, uh, maybe she would be over here alone making slime. Um, and I could have been putting away the laundry, but I chose in that moment, you know what, I'm letting it go. And she and I went over to the beach, I live in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we went parasailing. And that, <laughs> yes, the 13 year old was like, what's up with that? I'm at a birthday party and you go parasailing without me. But um, 
that meant so much to the 10 year old Sophia and it meant a lot to me as well. Now going into that week and I'm not kidding you, the week was busy and it was Thursday and it was white uniform shirt day. Okay. So usually when I was not as good at letting things go, mama, where's my white uniform shirt? It's hanging in the closet. That particular Thursday, mama, where's my white uniform shirt? It's laying on the counter in the laundry room in the clean pile. <laughs> and she went and grabbed her shirt from there. And guess what? It didn't hurt anyone. So it was okay to let that go that day. So learn to, to let some things go. Yeah, it sounds like we all have some growing up to do. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. And, and do that one word, focus. We all have to focus on life, right? <laughs> yes, live, live some life. You know, we've heard before, life is what happens while we're busy making plans for the future. And that's the honest to goodness truth. Life is right now in this moment. And we uh, need to live our lives. And I also say, let's not just live where we get through our days, but let's get from our days. And uh, I believe that we're able to do that, but we have to be intentional about doing that. And uh, speaking of letting things go, um, that fifth tip that I gave my neighbor was to also not compare ourselves to other people. Okay. Just you know, set our own boundaries, do our best within those boundaries we set for ourselves, do our best, forget the rest. And what I mean by boundaries is, you know what, I'm going to bed at 10 o'clock, whether I have everything done or not, that's my boundary. Now, if I compared myself to someone else who stays up until midnight, then I may feel inadequate. But it's like, listen, I set a boundary and I'm going to do my best within the boundaries that I set and that is good enough. So I, I've touched on the five tips that I um, had given my neighbor and, it, and reviewing them just in a one, two, three, four, five sense. One, write things down just to get a grip, uh, organize our thoughts. Two, ask for help. Uh, three, uh, carve out me time. Four, let some things go. And five, don't compare ourselves. So if we just wrote those five things down and applied them and said, you know what? I am going, look at me, write things down. See, that's why I do notebooks and provide them to people and journals and, and planners. Mm -hmm. So write things down and ask for help. And asking for help could even be a neighbor saying, hey, could you pull my trash can back in today because I have a very busy day and I'm not going to be back until later this evening. And, and then if we ask them for help, they'll probably start asking us for help. And, and that's how it should be. And, and that's good. Yeah, so that's very neighborly and we should know our neighbors. That's for sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. I was, I was just wondering, you know, about doing a planner. Do you think maybe uh, in the near future, you might do one that's for young girls? Absolutely. That's a great question. And uh, with me having my 13 year old, soon to be 14, she's mm -hmm. in eighth grade. Um, that's something that she and I are going to work on together. Mm -hmm. And this is just the beginning. Um, I didn't set out to start this business, but uh, I, I feel like I th who would have thought that the pandemic would have led me into my destiny, so to speak, but I have a real passion uh, for what I'm doing here. And, um, and this is just the beginning. Uh, we will have planners for um, middle school and high school age mm -hmm. students. We will have planners for college age students. We'll likely have teacher planners mm -hmm. and Yes, yes. I, anything that will help individuals to regain control of their lives and reach their full potential. And I don't know if, if, you know, surely you can relate to feeling somewhat out of control where it's like my days are running me rather than me 
yep. you know, having control of my days. So I believe that uh, we've all heard too, if we plan to fail, we fail to plan. It's true. We need to, to plan. We need to uh, make, live our lives more intentionally. If not, the days do get away from us and the days do control us versus us having control over our days. Wow. So let our viewers know how they can pre-order your planner today. So balancelifeplanner.com, uh, that is our website. And it's an ideal time to, to order because you'll, well, it's not only gift giving season, so it's a wonderful gift for ourselves. It's a wonderful gift uh, for others as well. But because it's a pre-order and you do have to wait uh, to receive the physical copy, you're going to get anywhere from on the low end 25 and upwards of uh, 45 to 50% off. And, and the reason there's the difference is because if you just order a notebook or if you order a planner bundle where you get the planner and some notebooks or a journal. So, uh, but anywhere from 25% uh, on up to 40 or 45% off. And I think I even said 50% because we have some bundles that um, already are, um, 10% off. So with all the, the holiday savings and pre-order savings, it all adds up. So save yourself some money, some money, uh, gift yourself with a planner, gift some others with a planner and uh, take control of your life and finish this year off with a balanced life approach and go into next year being all that you were born to be. It's never too late to, to be and to do uh, what you were meant to be and meant to do and become and the impact, you know, let, let's do this. Um, you deserve it. We, we deserve to live our lives to the fullest. And that's what uh, I want to help you do. Mm -hmm. So what are you and your family doing for Thanksgiving this year? Well, uh, believe it or not, here in a couple of hours, we're going to have our first Thanksgiving gathering. <laughs> so today's Tuesday, uh, Thanksgiving's on Thursday. So we are spending time with uh, family and friends over the next several days nice. and uh, just uh, sticking around here other than running over to Orlando. Um, uh -oh. I guess <laughs> it's, it's close. So um just spending time to together with friends and family. So Karen, what's on your Christmas list this year? A balanced life planner, of course. There no. you go. <laughs> Great answer. Awesome. I, you know, to, what is on my Christmas list this year? That's, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> A lot of gifts for my children are on my Christmas list this year. Um, but the the most uh, valuable uh, thing I could ever ask for is um, our health. We're healthy and um, the wealth we have in the time that we spend together uh, that uh, we can't put a price tag on. So um, my Christmas wish would be to continue to stay healthy and um and in relationship with friends and family and neighbors. Wow. Well, there you go, folks. That's a great way to end an interview. Thank you so much, Karen, for taking the time to be with us today. And I know we'll make sure that all of our viewers know where to get this planner. We all need one or two. <laughs> Balancedlifeplanner.com. Balancedlifeplanner.com. Great. Thank you so much. Enjoy Thank the rest you. of your day and happy Thanksgiving. You too. Happy Thanksgiving.